there be no black folks and basically now I'll have the footage to even back up a little bit better now if you notice in the last video I was basically looking at B and I was talking about A a little bit but that's I've got you paying attention to me that you know that when you see B stereo B that when we're at B you'll know we're at B and we're nowhere at A when I was talking to you about A but we're gonna what you're gonna know and figure out now that I am showing you that that actual factual that we have a planet over here because I'm gonna be able to show you right here that uh, we're froze on the 23rd and I'm going to show you where Earth's at. Earth's right there. And I'll hit play and you'll see it flaring. But the easiest thing for me to do is to pop over here and show you that we just get Mercury coming around the sun. Okay, It's in tight. So you know it's not Mercury. And I've been telling you it's not Mercury. Now I'm also going to show you on JPL real fast that it's not uh, the Jupiter either. Okay, Because when we're at Jupiter right now currently on February 26th and we're at JPL. Remember, DA-14 is real close to Earth, so basically you don't have any problems seeing Earth. Earth's, Earth's there close to DA-14, okay? Now remember, Pluto is in front, so if I tilt it, you know, you can. I can actually make it, if somebody wanted to fake somebody out, I could make it someone think that Pluto is behind, but it's not. And I'll pull up a map on that, too, that I've pulled up in the last video. And as you see at the angle, no matter what, even if we play with the table and we can bring it around, that when you're only getting half the sun, and even as you can see, I've only moved that much so far. That's not Jupiter. Now, what we're starting to wonder is how many planets do we have that are up here? Because you see the magnetic line, no problem. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'll hit play while we're watching this. And you'll see, and we're getting more tons of, and that's uh, exciting to me there, because now we're getting more energy. And I'll take you to this shot on Sechi 2. Now, we're going to come back here. Now, real, I'm just trying to fit everything in 15 minutes. So you have to talk real fast. So this, this is Earth doing that there. The actual factual for the evidence, and that's Mercury there, and this is our planet that we have found, and we do know from it being, and you'll see as, as Mercury's coming around the sun, we're going to know that basically, okay, right there, if I pause it on that date and time, and as you see how fast Mercury does basically, in a sense, rotate around and orbit Earth, I mean the sun, okay, the sun is huge over here, and, and Mercury gets around it fairly fast, okay. It pretty much gets in line, and I'll hit play, and then pause, and as you see, just at the very end, and we'll get it lined up, and you're going to see that Mercury lines up pretty much in conjunction, perillion, I think is what they call it, fancy word for being in alignment. Okay, so I hit pause, and pretty, it's pretty close, might get a couple more seconds, but it's pretty much in line with Mercury, okay? And then we got Earth right there doing its flaring action, okay? And then I'll pull this up a little bit so that when we come back in here, we're going to be at like 150. But you know we're at A and I'm not messing with you, okay? And when I was doing that before, talking about A and being at B, so you realize that we're going to go back to the B footage, even if I have to get in another video of showing you that there's two objects that are over on the other side when we were looking at Mercury here that just came around now in the A footage, okay? But from B behind, which is farther away, we've been seeing Mercury being real big. And I had someone steal a picture, anyway, or I've messed up and I took a live shot off of uh, Navy last night and was showing Jupiter so real large, okay? Really, really large, okay? So no matter what, we've got this planet that we found, because no matter what, that's not Jupiter, okay? Not in that shot, because I'll show you where... And we're going to see why Earth is flaring up so much. I'll show you at the solar angle real fast. Okay. Our polar angle, the north and south pole, boom, in the red again. We've been showing you jumping around. We'll see what we got for density. Uh, solar wind speed's dropping down a little bit. Density's coming down a little bit. Uh, and yeah, it's got some action going on. Sun's are very active. Okay. Uh, been calm, but just coming out of it. And as you noticed earlier this week, for this the last few videos, I was showing you that we were getting the, in the in the orange pretty good on our Aurora. We're probably going to get back into that. As you see, it's getting a little darker. It was a little bit lighter. It was getting whitish. We're going to keep going back up a little bit because just because of that polar angle that I just showed you up there. Okay, so we're back in the red and the polar angle. So with our shifting polar angle, you're going to see that we are getting high on the back side of Earth here. Watch this turn to orange here. Orange is red. Okay, keep your eye there. You're going to see it. Keep playing. Come on. How long does it take for it to do it? I'm wasting too much footage watching that. 
but it had been going to orange on the back side. So get over and take a look at that because it has been going to orange on the back side. There it comes a little bit. Here it comes, here it comes, I think. It's growing, it's growing. There's your orange that you get on the back side. I think it's way, way bigger too. So we're getting some wild polar angle action. There it gets real big, okay? You see it? On the back side of Earth, okay? So we're doing some major shifting, okay? We're gonna get more quakes from that. In our protons, which is electrical, okay? In the phases, and we're getting ready to cross-phase some more. We've been cross-phasing a little bit, okay? And building up. So she's just starting to get active again, the sun is. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to show you some of the other graft action we got going on. Okay, remember this red square is ACE, okay? That's the ACE satellite. The B satellite is the square blue one. And then we have Earth over here, okay? And as I was just there, okay? Now, A is on the legend, but it's up to the right, and I'm not gonna take time to go there to it. I'm just kind of showing you real big. So we're pretty much always in this Y. And as you see, we're getting this shot from A, ACE over here, okay? So as you see, now this is early because this is basically like the 25th or something that's going to be through to the, okay, 24th, okay, it starts out. So when you see Mercury back here, it's the 24th and it's basically still hidden behind the sun. Just starting to come out and as you see in the footage, you're going to see that we just have it coming out on the 24th. See, we just get it coming, coming around. Now remember folks, we're getting some more of this energy from way the hell out as you can see, because I'm going to go all the way to the top, and as you can see streaming all the way across space how huge this stuff is, because it's way bigger than the sun, see, it's not just coming off the sun and I'll hit play and you've seen it streaking through there, yeah this is streaking through, and basically we I froze some of this energy here, over here on 2A today too, okay, and I'll hit play on that real fast while we're here, it should go through that pretty fast at the time, and you got Mercury slipping away there, coming from core 2A, okay? So now, coming back over to our footage that I got frozen from here on A, okay? H1A, high 1A, okay? I've uh, got that energy frozen, and then here's Earth right there, okay, doing its spitting stuff. So basically, it's electrical, magnetical, that's R, you know, and we've seen, I've showed you Earth spitting before, so, and it's electrical, it's our plasma, okay? It's a CME reactive flare to our, our atmosphere to a CME, okay? A coronal mass ejection off the sun and ends up with a being a coronal mass ejection reaction of our atmosphere plasma, okay? Maybe I'll put hurry up and get the, the uh, now we got that going back in. I'll hit forward and I'm gonna hit a little bit faster so that you can end up seeing uh, the sun, I'll, I mean Earth. I don't do any editing when I make a mistake when I'm saying something. And there you go, to the left, okay? That's Earth, okay? Behind the, in the white, behind the frame, that is Earth directly off, and I've been showing you that. So now you can understand where the last one is like, you maybe were saying, because I was talking about it when I was looking at B. Okay, now I'm gonna throw in some, some uh, energy. This makes you proof that this is a planet there that could, we showed you already on JPL that it's not Jupiter from angle wise, okay? Because <clears throat> you can go in, you just go get a hold of JP, but you got to do it today or the next day because otherwise Jupiter's going to keep moving. See, it's going to keep moving in this direction coming around. And then you're going to think, well, it was Jupiter. No, it's not, okay? Because the, we're, the, the, the satellites behind the sun at an angle at that Y formation, like I show you right here, okay, it's in this Y formation, but we just had Mercury come around so it could be seen. So you know it's directly straight off on the sun, okay? And as you can see, even over this, all the way the fourth to the 20, the, from the 24th to the 5th of next month, it's already showing you that it's not gonna move, that they're not gonna move stereo A, Ace right there, that's it. They're not gonna move it that much. So it stays straight pretty much as much as it can. In this Y formation, it stays in the locked Y dance around the sun, okay? Earth rotates this way around, and so does the A and the B satellite to stay in this Y formation, okay? And then you get this footage of Mercury coming just around on the 24th, 
okay? Just coming around and getting into view on the 24th, okay? So you're gonna keep on seeing Mercury for a little while, okay? Now I can take you to the latest uh, Navy shot and you'll see uh, Jupiter, I mean Venus, excuse me, off up to the right, okay? So then you'll notice that Venus is just coming in. What was weird is, uh, I think I did throw it in the footage. To go back to the last video and watch it because I showed you what I was going to take a picture of, I believe, of showing you how big Venus was looking in flare, okay? And it's from this electrical energy that we're getting from not just the sun. And this is huge, isn't it? Okay? We've seen CME action pretty close to this before, okay? It's huge. And then that's the Earth actually doing that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not trying to scare you with that. It is Earth right there doing that, okay? And I've showed plenty of that if you've been around watching my videos for a long time. This is a planet that's in our solar system no matter what and it's not Jupiter up there and more than likely we're hoping well we always kind of hope that there'll be more planets so I'm kind of hoping that maybe this is even more of a find than what we've already but remember this planetoid this it's huge okay it was ahead of to the right hand side of Jupiter remember okay so that when it's coming around when it's on the right hand side of Jupiter coming around that's what we're seeing that's the planet that we found from over by the meatball that's it Okay, from hanging out around by Jupiter, remember? I showed you that, and we were able to get the separation with, with uh, knowing that it's in the solar system by seeing it by uh, Venus before, up by Jupiter. And that's how we got the distance of the meatball and everything like that, and there's massive distances that you're looking here out in space and so forth and so on. That's why, and everybody ever, ever said there was a UFO before, I was always like, it's a planet, it's a planetoid object. Uh, satellites are tiny. They, you wouldn't even be able to see a satellite in these shots. It's so damn tiny. Okay. Now on, on the 23rd here, you can see Earth spitting away too. Okay, right there. Let me blow this up real fast so you see. And remember, a planet with objects up there too. Okay. So we're at A on the 23rd, shooting across from A, and then factual actual, we'll get up there and blow up and come across and look at Earth starting to do its spitting there. Okay. It's behind the frame, but it's back there. That's Earth directly away, like I've always showed you. It's in a Y, and it's directly away from the left-hand side of the sun when we're looking at it from stereo. When you're looking across A, Earth is always directly straight across from the sun, okay? And then in the Y action, A and B are out there, okay? So we're shooting all this from over at A, and like I showed you, we've just had, I'll hit play, we sure got. We just had Mercury come into view on the 24th. Okay, so then we go back to make it even more concrete for you that we, this is the planet that we found. Remember how it's lined up and everything like that. We go back to JPL and we we're gonna go in and find out what the heck would it ever be lined up with Mercury, and it's not Jupiter, you see. So I come up, okay, and no matter what, that is not. Jupiter because it's in line with it okay now it's in line at this angle here but Mercury just came around okay just came into view on that shot on the 24th okay this is what the great thing was catching with it is the idea of Mercury's just coming around now okay just coming around now and they don't have that marked as Jupiter it's not Jupiter okay that's whatever we've had so now we're gonna be watching for Jupiter to be coming around on the footage and we'll catch Jupiter getting marked eventually. Either that or NASA will be smart asses and they won't mark it, which will be, it'll be fine, whatever. Because we can see right now that when this comes around, we'll put Mercury behind the sun, okay? There it's not visible, okay? Because you can see Mercury sitting there. It wouldn't be visible. And we're on the 26th, but we don't have to go back in time, okay? And actually, I can click, I guess, to give you an actual factual, but you see what we do is we, on the 24th, we get Mercury just coming around the side of the sun, and we get that. So, and as you see it being in straight in line, okay, as it's just coming around, it gets straight in line with that whatever planet at that. And we gotta come up with a name for it, honestly. And I'm telling you straight up, ladies and gentlemen, this is actual factual. That is a planet there because when we look straight up, because Mercury just came around, just comes around the side of the sun, and we'll hit it on the calendar too. Jupiter's way the hell over here. It's yeah, it's straight in line this way, but you can't pick up. Jupiter because it's only showing the side of the sun and you can't it's not shooting over top of the sun Okay, somewhat it is way up high, but it's not shooting up over top where you're gonna see Jupiter first and they've marked that Jupiter It's not Jupiter Okay, and as you can see I can adjust the days I went to the 24th Okay, and as you see even in this Mercury's still on the right hand side here So you know that they were over on the side of the sun because we know that's where they where this footage is at They're on just the side of the sun 
And on the 26th, it's going to be coming around and we'll see a little bit more. But you see that this plant, Mercury is directly in line with.